nothing's going quite right. So Polly takes a bath and then gets into her pajamas and watches Netflix because she got her period. Polly's friends are all hanging out together at a karaoke party, but Polly didn't go because, well, she actually didn't want to. She was tired and honestly just wanted to be alone. But Polly gets FOMO, which then sets her into an onslaught of unrelated emotional tears. Probably from a place deep within. That is, if there is such a place inside a three-inch plastic doll. Polly falls asleep for a while. Her eyes may have an unsettling inability to close, but trust me, she's sleeping. She awakes with an underlying hatred for herself and the world, a need to change her pad, and what's that? A wave of relief and a sparkle of hope. She decides it must have been the rest that helped her to feel a sense of renewal. She opens up her laptop and rummages around YouTube. She's still on her period, okay? She's not actually ready to do anything with that glimmer of renewal. Polly clicks on a music video of what she learns is a K-pop group called BTS. This is pretty exciting for her because up until that moment, she only knew of PP Pop, Polly Pocket Pop, and she really needed something to spice up her life. Now this, this was something new. She loved the way these performers moved with so much confidence. She loved how bright and exciting the colors were that poured out of her screen. She felt inspired. That was it. What she needed in her life right now was more color and movement. You see, Polly was struggling a bit, not in any way that you could really even tell from the outside. I mean, look at her, she literally never stops smiling. But underneath that smile, life was feeling sort of dull and impersonal. And adding color and movement into her life seemed like the perfect next step. She looked at her calendar. Somehow seven days had passed amidst all that napping and Netflix watching and bath taking. With her period now over, and inspiration planted in her heart, she set out to follow the newness that inspired her. Doesn't it seem like something sort of magical or powerful happened within Polly on those days she had her period? Well, Polly experienced something on her period that we all have the ability to experience on our periods. And it can be explained in five steps. And five stones. What? Stones? This is Polly Pocket's story, okay? She doesn't explain things in some boring old crusty way. This is Polly's inner world on her period. And consider that it might be yours too. Five stepping stones stretch across a beautiful river. The flow of the river represents the flow of Polly's period. Each stone moves Polly along her way through the flow. From the solid shore, Polly steps out onto the first stepping stone, the stone of separation. Polly needs rest and renewal. The world Polly lives in needs Polly pockets that do and achieve. But Polly is freaking tired of that right now. So she says yes to herself and her needs, and thus separates herself from the waves of her Polly Pocket world. At least for now. Onward to stepping stone number two, the stone of surrender. Polly's emotional, okay? Let her have her moment. She's accumulated some emotional gunk over the past 28 days of her menstrual cycle, and her feelings, anxieties, fears, and struggles bubble up to the surface. She's surrendering. She's letting it go. Polly is on to stepping stone three, the stone of renewal. By letting her feelings come to the surface on stone two, she now feels a little lighter, and with that weight released, or at least acknowledged, it seems that Polly has opened up some space inside of herself for her worries and fears and struggles to be met with some love. The love that Polly is experiencing can be thought of as the mother hug. It's love filled with comfort, reassurance, gentleness, hope, and belonging. It's this love that creates renewal in Polly. On she goes to stepping stone four, the stone of inspiration. This inspiration will remind Polly who she really is, what her true personality is, what her true interests are, what she truly wants in life. Polly steps onto the final stepping stone, the stone of clarity and direction. This is where Polly begins to understand how it is she'll use that inspiration to make the newness in her 
and in her life that she needs. This could be the direction on how she'll move a creative project along, a dream along, a new way she'll work through her struggles. And finally, she reaches the other side of the river, with a seat of inspiration and direction to take action on. Polly's experience of her period, both the mundane story and her inner story of stepping stones, is a story that plays out inside of you too. I hope that Polly helped to validate for us that there can be something deep and meaningful going on inside of us, but the outside expression of this may be simple and mundane. Both of these realities can absolutely coexist. Don't let the subtleness or the mundaneness of things take away the magic, the power, the spirit that's found within you.